Okay, you just got a new harness from Mike and you're now ready to uh, uh, install it in the car but you want to set up the temperature calibration so that it accurately knows what the real temperature is. Uh, and so what you have to do now is you have to get uh, the, the profile set up for that second harness. So the first thing you do is you hit the down arrow button so that you're on the bottom line and then you start scrolling up the scale. Of course you want to have your new harness plugged in at this point. Now here you'll see profile number one. Well we might as well change this to profile number two while we're at this particular point in the thing and this will be where we're going to be uh, installing the new um, harness. It's in this car. So now what is this car? Well let's go through the list model year for the first car, model year for the second car. Okay, In this case we have a 2004 Insight. So we got one, two, three, four. The one indicates a first gen Insight and the four is the year. Enter it. So now we've identified the car and we're now in profile for number two. So the next thing to do is we have to get into the tech edit mode so that we can get at the two variables that allow us to compensate the temperature. So to do that, uh, we have to go down to the bottom line, as which we're on, and we have to continue moving through the scale. And at the very top of the scale, right before you get to the end, is password. And you edit this just like you do any other number by pushing the up and down arrow keys. Uh, but I'm not going to let you see what the number is. I don't think that's uh, the purpose of this. So let's look at it after I get the key. When we calibrate the temperature probes uh, here at the factory, we have this special fixture. And what it basically is is a precision temperature controller uh, controlling a, a water bath that's heated <coughs> by an electrical heating element, which is those red wires and the two balloons make the temperature probe so they can be submersed in a thermos bottle full of warm water and we use 120 degrees because it's a nice high value and you notice the, the thing went down and now it's coming back up again and it's measuring the actual temperature but the temperature controller it, it kicks on and off automatically in order to try to hit the temperature and there's a special program in there that keeps it as accurate as it can so usually this is within a fraction of a degree of the value we're looking for so I put the two probes into those uh, containers using the, using the uh, uh, clips to hold them in there and I let them stabilize in temperature and then I can very accurately say, you know, I'm going to set them for 120 degrees and I'm going to make sure the inlet and outlet match exactly. Well, you're not going to have this little bath or hot water tank to do this, so several different ways. You can take a thermos bottle, you can put some warm water in it, Put a thermometer in it that actually measures the temperature, a little digital thermometer which you can buy at Walmart and several stores, uh, and consider that your absolute temperature. And then you put the two temperature probes in a plastic bag, like a baggie or in the case of uh, these balloons, and submerse them so that they don't get wet, but they, you hold them in there, and then very quickly the water will equilibrate to, a, to the same temperature, and both probes should be exactly the same. And even this technique is a little bit uh, more than some of you may want to do. So uh, it's really uh, pretty easy. Uh, one technique that I've used that works quite well, but it takes a little time, is you, you tape the two probes together uh, with a temperature probe that you pick up at uh, Walmart or somewhere that you're going to use as your reference. And then you just uh, sit it in a place where it's not in any draft. It's not touching anything cold or warm and it's uh, allowed to sit for five or ten minutes until the temperature no longer changes and then you read the standard temperature from the Walmart or other uh, uh, manufacturers probe and then you calibrate the two values to equal that and this, this can be done at any temperature so you can just use whatever the ambient in the room is at the time and it works uh, quite well. Okay so the temperature probes have been taped together and alongside of them is a real temperature probe which is uh, reading out the temperature and we're now going to allow this to sit for five or ten minutes until the temperature rises to the ambient temperature and stays there. So let's put this aside where it's not going to be in contact with anything that's hot or cold. It will be uh, sitting away from any drafts that might influence the temperature. 
and the idea is to not let it touch anything just to have it measure the air temperature entered the password and it's locked in and it will remain in place until you turn the power off and back on again uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the setup now the setup uh, initially takes you to the car profile which you can then edit next we're going to go to the default reload next we're going to go to the temperature uh, uh, switch from Fahrenheit to centigrade extra soak time and finally we're back to the tech access now had we tried to enter this right now uh, we would not be able to get in unless we had entered the right password previously edit we see a new variable we didn't see before and a couple of them back from there we start seeing the temperature calibrations now you can see that temp cal 3 is a zero temp cal 2 is a zero that's the outlet the inlet temp 3 inlet temp 2 are both uh, uncalibrated so this is where we're going to enter in a correction value so the uh, temperature probes have stabilized and the inlet temp is showing 70.1 when the actual temperature is 72.5 so there's a 2.4 degree error and the uh, correction factor is multiplied by 5 so 2.4 degrees would be 12 on this scale because we multiply 2.4 by 12 so it is 2 12 now we should see very close to 72.5 appear on the top 72.4 it's changing to 6 so that's pretty much right on the money so now we can scroll over to the outlet temperature go back to the edit screen and now we're seeing 69.5 let's go to the proper position for the outlet cal uh, 69.5 instead of 72.5 so we have a correction of 3 degrees 3 times 5 is 15 so that's what we'll put in so basically you got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 oops wrong way I'm upside down here so it's hard to know which way to go Okay, 72.4, 72.5, pretty close. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll take the bottom line and we'll go all the way up to the inlet temp and we'll put them on the screen at the same time. And as you'll see, they're now exactly correct as far as the ambience concern and they're also co correct as far as uh, the relationship from one to the other. And that's basically how you set up your probes. Now you're ready to put it in car number two, the 2004 Insight, and the temperatures will read exactly the same as they would if they were, uh, you know, they'll read the real temperature.